Some of these isolated showers are becoming a little more scattered, a little more numerous. We're seeing more lightning strikes with these, but again, not everybody is getting hit. You can see on radar looking over North Georgia, Metro Atlanta and on the south side. There are a lot of us not experiencing any rain at all, but some of these isolated showers are becoming a little more numerous here, and even these on the south side here in South Fulton and to the northern parts of Coweta, Coweta County over into Fayette County. We're seeing a little bit of lightning developing with some of those, even though they're small, they still have some lightning with it and pockets of heavy rain. This one has been hanging out there in Randolph County just over the line uh, from Georgia into Alabama. West Carroll County, western parts of Heard County have been getting in on some of those showers. Rome, you've had some showers earlier, had a little thunder and lightning, not as much in Rome right now. And then some of these showers now in Gilmer County that are moving up toward the north. And these have been really active here over on the east side in Hancock County, near Eatonton, down toward Baldwin County, over Lake Sinclair. A lot of lightning there, just a few scattered showers at Lake Oconee. Take a live look out there. In fact, I'll look at it right over here and you can see what we're watching. This is our view in Coweta County as we're looking more toward the north and east where we see some of those showers. Clouds are darkening up. Here is that tower cam uh, now in Rome. Really interesting to see this. You have two isolated showers with the sun shining in between those there, and that just kind of goes to show you just how small some of those isolated cells are. Here's what we're watching as we go through the rest of the evening hours. This is our future radar product, and you can see those showers that are going to be scattered with us, and they'll be lingering with us. I think we're going to have a few more of these tonight than we did last night. This is at 9 o'clock tonight. Scattered showers around Metro Atlanta on the south side. Even some of these lingering until 11 before they start to die out more as we go into the overnight hours, and we think that we'll have a dry start to the day early tomorrow morning. It is hot out there right now. We uh, made it up into the upper 80s at 88, but it feels hotter in the like in the 90s because of the humidity. Right now we're at 85, but where we had rain, look at Carrollton dropped to 78 degrees with rain cooled air there and then uh, lower 80s right now up in the mountains of North Georgia. Now we're going to watch these temperatures tonight as they're going to be generally moving down into the 70s, kind of a muggy night, but as you can see, we'll have that chance for some scattered showers and then a dry start early in the morning morning with mild air at 70. I think we'll get up to 89 tomorrow, just shy of the 90 degree mark and about a 40% chance for showers. So on our scale from 1 to 11, where an 11 is a perfect day, we'll give that a 6. Here you see tonight some of those scattered showers diminishing overnight. Should be a dry start in the morning and at lunchtime looking pretty good here with some sunshine, warm air, and then in the afternoon tomorrow, scattered showers redeveloping and I do think that rain chance is going to go up a little bit more on Sunday thanks to an approaching front that's going to move in. So instead of just heat and humidity bubbling up some showers. That front is going to be another triggering mechanism that'll actually give us more showers around and that rain chance I think will be highest on Monday as that front is getting closer to us. And then this is the tricky part of the forecast. Not all the models are in agreement, but if this front moves down just south of Atlanta as it stalls out, that will bring in some slightly drier air and we'll see our rain chances coming down there for the middle and also the end of the week. But we'll keep fine tuning that for you as more data comes in.